Hey, what's up? Matt Wyatt here. Time for a film study. Mississippi State Spring Game. First one under Joe Moorhead. Over 36,000 people. A new spring game attendance record for Mississippi State. It was a gorgeous day. And so what did you see? Nick Fitzgerald didn't get to play quarterback. Stephen Gidry was out with a shoulder injury. Other than that, Keaton Thompson played really well. And there was a bunch of guys also who played well. And I thought it was a really good competitive scrimmage. Organized, sharp, plays made on both sides. Let's take a look. Early on, Justin Johnson, the tight end, had a catch that led uh, to the first score of the game. It's off play action. Watch him up there, top of your screen. Releasing vertically to get behind the defender. And right here, that play fake is kind of holding the linebacker, and that's the purpose of it. Play fake develops, and now he can't, can't quite make up his mind what he's going to do, so he gets up. Now, as soon as he steps up, he's gone behind him. Quarterback's looking at that defender the whole way, and that's going to be your throw for a nice first down in the red zone. That's a really good catch for the tight end to get his arms up extended over his head like that. First touchdown of the game for Kylan Hill. Watch the left side of the line operating against that defensive front over on the left. Greg Island, one-on-one. Left guard, Darrell Williams, one-on-one. You get help from the center. He's going to get up and block the linebacker and just create a nice little hole for the back to run through. And there it is, one, two, three. And he's gone up the chute untouched, a little bit of a mismatch. Here's the Nick Gibson touchdown run coming out this way. And it's the right play call versus this defensive alignment. Look at the gap between tackle and end. Only guy in there is a linebacker and he's off the line and can block it perfectly. The key here, stepping down, hit the nose pretty easily. And the tackle is going to step in here and get the linebacker pretty easily. But this block by Dante Jones, a tight end, this end's responsibility is to get in here in his C-gap. And he can't get there because of the block of the tight end. So it's sealed off, sealed off, and here he goes. Hits his head on the goal post, big touchdown run. Longest play from scrimmage in the game. Now on this pass play, look at the difference in the cushion of the corners. Up top, it's a really hard corner. And down at the bottom of the screen, you got a lot of cushion. That means the quarterback here knows you've got quarter, quarter, and then half safety there. And your coverage is going to be soft over here on this side. And his route is a three-man route. It's curl route by the outside. And the third man inside is running to the flat. So he's just going to read it. And he's kind of reading whoever's the flat defender out here on this side. So now you see it working. Curl route here, flat route here, and this defender in a bind can't cover them both. Quarterback's going to keep his eyes here, and as soon as he moves, Thompson fires it in there for a strike on the curl route right behind the defender. And that's the way you draw it up, flat curl. I really like this play from Keaton Thompson, the quarterback, reading the coverage. He knows that he's got a half-deep safety here, which means that's a hard corner there on that side. And the route that he's running, he's got vertical. They're going to switch on the vertical here, the two guys. And so it's a four vertical route. But because of the coverage and the fact that this is a hard corner in here to the boundary, he already knows he's going to get behind the corner very easily on his vertical route. So now with that fake, you see this guy sitting here. And indeed, you get it. Now look where his eyes are. He's already looking at that half safety. And then fires it in there on the back shoulder for a completion. When you watch it from behind, this is the half safety. He's responsible for that half of the field in deep coverage. And he's already thinking, I'm going to get a guy over here on the sideline. When snap the ball, go play fake. So you can see he's looking at that safety, either to hold him there and to read him to say, okay, I've either got there or I've got a vertical coming here. And he's got to read which one it is. Now he may get this guy open. The problem is, when you're on the field here looking up the field right through a defender, it's hard to let that go. And you got a guy dropping right in the throwing lane of what's going to be the tight end coming back on top. So ball could go there. Instead, he reads that safety and puts it on his back shoulder here and makes a tough throw. Here's a goal line play with pressure coming off the edge. They're only bringing six, but it's two guys, one off each edge. So what it means is... Uh, his receivers out here up top are matched up in man-to-man, -man, no help. It's straight-up man-to-man coverage. 
The route up top is a smash route. Hitch on the outside and get to the pylon corner route on the inside. With it man-to-man, -man, you pretty much know it's going to go to the corner route. Picks it up. That's an excellent throw and an even better catch by Austin Williams. Watch how Thompson, the quarterback, handles this. Got circled Brian Cole, the uh, nickel safety coming off the hash. And on the snap of the ball, you see him coming off the edge. This safety rotating back to the middle, so it's going to be cover three. And it's a matter of how many are they bringing to one side. What they actually get, based on the protection without adjusting it, is three defenders in maroon and two blockers in white. The other thing is the defender backside, that's Marquis Spencer. He had his hand down, but now he's dropping off in cover, so it's like zone blitz. Thompson is reading this backside into the boundary and is able to get it out before the pressure gets there. Even though, again, it's three on two and somebody's coming free, he's reading him as the underneath. And when he sees him jump the underneath, he's got an out route right on top and he's able to get it out before he gets hit. It's a really nice play. Let's look at a couple of things on this play. First of all, the route in the middle of the field against zone. Then we'll come back and look at pass rush on the edge by Chauncey Rivers. This is a secondary where everybody's dropping in coverage. It's zone coverage. And so a young tight end's got to learn that when you run it underneath against zone, you usually try to find that place to sit it down in there in an open spot. If you run this route and you keep running, you're going to run right into a defender who's waiting on you. Or if you're a quarterback and you lead him into a defender, you got to know that against zone. It's kind of what happens right there. You go back and watch pass rush coming off the edge. This is Chauncey Rivers versus Tommy Champion. Bit of a bull rush, and he's kind of catching him with his feet narrow as opposed to his feet wide. And so that one little thing against a strong guy kind of gets pushed back. However... Got to give Champion credit for staying in front of him and not letting him get to the quarterback. This time it's a third down. Montez Sweat doing Montez Sweat type things. Tight end's going to release. So now with the tight end releasing, it means it's tackle who's got to step and pick up Montez Sweat coming off the edge. And Sweat, just so quick upfield, he's already deep enough. A tackle cannot get a hand on him, and he's free to the quarterback. Another example with Montez Sweat, this time three receiver side, tight end's going to release again and kind of put him on that angle with the tackle. This time the back stays in to help, so it's two on one. The back's actually going to pop him a little bit. But the tackle went so deep expecting the speed rush, now he's got the free uh, path to the QB on the inside and he disrupts the play on another third down. Over here on the left side of your screen, defensive end Kobe Jones, sophomore had a really good scrimmage, hard to block. First of all, watch him. This is actually a touchdown, but watch what Kobe Jones does to the tight end. Gets him off his balance, drives him into the backfield. And then if you go back, I mean, he's really cleaning him up. But if you go back and see how the touchdown happened, it's going to be right here, one-on-one -on -one with the guard, Williams. Jenkins up to the linebacker. And then right guard, Calhoun, all are perfect and win their battles on this inside zone run. Again, there on the tackle. You see Jenkins step and then get to the linebacker. Calhoun's winning one-on-one. -on -one. Take it one step further, and now look. They get it sealed here, one here, and there's your path into the end zone. And you're too close for that next-level guy to come in there and make the play. There's a lot going on on this play. It's a really good outside pass rush by Kobe Jones, and then we'll come back and take a look at the route. Nice little slap and get to the outside against the starting left tackle, Greg Island, who's a good player. Jones gets to the QB. But you can see Thompson's able to get the ball out of there, even though he's got pressure on his shoulder. He's got that green shirt, knows he's not going to get hit. Now, if you go back and look at the tight ends running the flat, number one up top's running the post, and number two is Austin Williams, who's running the corner. And on the snap of the ball, they have rotated back to cover three, and brought that other safety down in the box. So he already kind of knows when he sees the rotation, I've got soft corner, and the read's going to go up there most likely. So as he lets it develop, defender's going to jump on the flat route, and that leaves the corner open up top. Puts it on him, but it's a really nice catch. Have to turn his shoulders by Austin Williams. True freshman corner Marcus Murphy with the interception. Down here, man-to-man -man on the goal line. They're going to release outside up top. 
two insides coming into pick, trying to get Williams open here and for good measure run the swing underneath. So you got four guys running a route to that side of the field. Kind of a little pick play on the goal line. Look at him read it. He's going to jump it the whole way as soon as he sees one and two coming to his side, even though they line up and say this is his man. They, he didn't run with him. He jumps the route, picks the interception there in the red zone. Really nice play. Instinctual, kind of knowing what the route is. Again, you look at his eyes. He's lined up here man to man, but I think he's looking here already anticipating what it is. Either that or they're rolling the coverage and he's got the back. So if they roll the coverage and he's got the back, he goes here and now the ball's in the air and just instinctually makes a play on the football. Here's a good example of team defense and gap responsibility, uh, even against a run play. Your tackle is responsible for this A gap. End here is responsible for outside. And the C gap is going to belong to that linebacker right there on that side, and that's Leo Lewis. When they run it, he's already got the angle to the outside, but sees a play developing. He's taking on two, and then you get the fill from the linebacker. And because uh, you got winning going on up top, too, so it gives the read to the quarterback, and now you've snuffed it out. Really appreciate you watching that. Hope you enjoyed it. Pretty good spring for Mississippi State. If you have any questions or comments or any other plays you want me to take a look at, send them to me on Twitter. I am at Radio Wyatt on Twitter. Hit me up there. Appreciate that. Follow me if you don't already. Hey, and here's a bonus for you. My friends over at Renaissance Bank. RenaissanceNation.com. A list of 10 things to spend your tax return on. Assuming you got one. 10 things to spend your tax return on at RenaissanceNation.com. I'll link that for you. Go check it out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.